What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chisha Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Listen, guys, I really am trying to make more positive content out here, you know, trying to switch things up, but then you guys got to send me something like this. Let's get it. Men, you know when you see a beautiful woman that's out of your league and you feel scared? That feeling in your chest, it's called common sense. I hope you guys got that message loud and clear. This chick wants you to know that if you get that feeling when you're approaching a woman and you think to yourself, man, this chick looks fine. She might be out of my league. She's letting you know that's common sense. You better believe it. One more time in case you missed it. Men, you know when you see a beautiful woman that's out of your league and you feel scared? That feeling in your chest, it's called common sense. All right, so why am I the bad guy? Why am I the bad guy that when I see a video like this and I say, why does, okay, let me, let me give you guys an example, right? Because I'm just here to highlight some of this stuff. This reminds me of the chick who basically admitted that she does not hang out with ugly people. I don't hang out with ugly people. I just don't like if you can't dress if your hair is always a mess if you're just not attractive sorry like i just we can't be in a click together because oh. i'm not the most gorgeous person but when we oh, walk don't be saying stuff like that why i'm not the most gorgeous person like don't i mean i'm not a freaking out. 10. Do you oh. think i'm a 10. yes you don't think you a 10. Oh my gosh, girl, you have to always think you a 10. How you gonna say you don't think you a 10, but you don't hang out with ugly people? She can't be a two or three. What are you to you if you're not a 10? You a might as well be a two or, or three. Eight. Seven is a two or three. If you don't say you a 10, you might as well be a one because now you're just playing games with yourself. And then you have the other chick who's talking about how the ratio of attractive men to attractive women is way off and it's really hard to find an attractive man. What pisses me off so bad. Talk to me. Is that the ratio of attractive women to attractive men is off. Like if I wanted to go find an attractive woman on Instagram right now, mm -hmm. I could do it in two seconds. If I wanted to go find an attractive man yeah. on Instagram, I have to put on my CIA cap, my FBI badge to find that dude, to find any man. Cause they don't, they don't got, they don't, got, they don't make making pages. Dudes don't even post for real. What's the issue? And that video I actually kind of agreed with in the sense that Women are supposed to be prettier than men, but she went on to call herself a solid 10 in that video and went on to bash men some more and got roasted. Just like this chick who said, stop dating ugly men, you're slowing down feminism. I'm sorry, but I simply cannot stay quiet any longer. Women, you have got to stop dating ugly men. You've got to stop. You are setting feminism back years. I am so sick of walking down the street and seeing the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my life with just some guy, with a solid four. Like, I understand that you value charity work, but sis, go to a soup kitchen. Enough is enough. But back to the chick in this video. So she said, if you're approaching a woman and you get a sense that she's out of the, you know, your league, then just know that that is true. I think if any man said anything any of these women said, they would be looked at as self-centered, just like way too into themselves and people be like, oh man, you need to be a little bit humble. But when women say this, it's seen as empowering and they sort of have, they're sort of forgiven for lacking humility. I think we should all be humble. Right. I would never get on here and say that I've never said anything close to that. And you might say, oh, Chisha, that's because you're not confident. No, I'm confident. But I don't think most people who are attractive really go out here making these type of comments. As always, this chick got roasted online. This first commenter says it's always the twos and threes. And the person here says right message, wrong messenger. Damn. Another comment here says the message and the messenger are not messaging. This next comment turned into a thread. It started out with this first comment that says, definitely agree, I'd be super comfortable talking to you. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Um, so some shade there. Another person responded, no, give this more likes. Somebody says, uh, uh, this is a chick, a chick responded back here and says, y'all insecure as hell. Uh, another comment says, you're safe. In response to this chick, uh, somebody says, you're safe. They're correcting his grammar. Somebody responded back to that woman and said, okay, Oxford Dictionary. So as you guys can see, this turned into like a huge roast session. Another person here says, damn, she's handsome with the uh, laughing emojis. <laughs> God damn it. You can't make this shit up. 
I'm not going to clown on anybody, man. Uh, I'm just here to report the news. Another comment here says, the men are mad at you, sis. With the laughing emojis, another comment here in response to that comment says, she made a joke about them. And when they make a joke back, apparently they're mad. That is true. Aren't they joking back? Is that okay? Here's another comment that says, they're mad. With the crying emojis, another comment here says, this is like taking free throw advice from Shaq. <laughs> Another person responded back and says, like Ben Simmons, teaching you how to be a three-point shooter. And somebody else here added, like Steve Nash, teaching you how to dunk. And laughing emojis to end that um, thread. Another woman here says, girl, you snapped. Right? And she wants to encourage her, of course. Listen, I don't think anybody should lack confidence. I think what we can learn from all these different videos is humility goes a long way, especially if you're going to share your opinions online guys as always i'm curious to know what do you think leave your comments down below i appreciate you for checking out yet another episode of coffee pod till next time i'm out peace